with that, it's a tie game here in the men's final of the 2000 Nally Golden Harvest Cup. We'll be back in a moment with the seventh and deciding leg. Shook his head a little bit there. And yeah, I don't think Phil believes it. You know, he was in a commanding position there three or four legs ago, and then all of a sudden, uh, it could be all square just after this leg. But the thing is, Dave's done it by playing brilliant, not by Phil throwing darts at the doubles and missing. Dave's up the score in brilliantly now, and he's matching Phil dart for dart, and obviously the confidence now is with Dave, and maybe take him as a, just a slight favourite. Doesn't appear to, appear to be intimidated in the least bit. Certainly isn't, and uh, I think Phil knows this, so uh, he's going to have to uh, build his confidence up again and get back into this match. But uh, Dave's playing a tremendous game of darts. Well, the pressure's on now. Dave can hit 140 here. This will be against the throw. He must be feeling now he's got a great chance of winning. That's a good dart for Phil. You know, he likes to stack the darts. 161. Big finish here, treble 20. Well, if he is treble 20, he'll try and get a nice old one here and give him a chance. 60. First leg of the Phil final set. Double 20. Double 10 for the first leg, the deciding set. Game shot. And what started out looking like a Phil Taylor route has turned into a real Game nice match. Well, I think it's been a great final, don't you, Cliff? Yeah, it's an unbelievable final. And, uh, you know, that's what the viewers and the audience 55. want to see. Great final. And uh, with both players playing it to, uh, to the standards that we've come to see. Well, that was a bad start for Dave. And Phil really would like to be hitting a big 140 here. Surprise me if this is not a 180. Yeah. 180. That's why you know the titles he's won. That's just at the right time, the big score that you need. And so many times he produces the real goods. Well, he can certainly taste it now. You can see that. He wants this title and. Uh, There's no way in the world that uh, he wants to be second. One hundred! Just urging himself there, come on. He knows that there's still a little bit left to win here still. It's, it's not all over yet, but there could be trouble now, Dave. 60. Phil has six starts now. Oh, that's really Phil will require now, 121. It? He's not on the finish here, Cliff, so he could go treble 20. Well, he's he's looking down that. for treble 17. Will he go 54 for the bullseye? Will he end on the bullseye? No, he's played safe. 89! <laughs> He'll be back for one more try. Oh, I think Dave's just, just unfortunately lost it in the last set. 41! And Phil Taylor for the Phil Golden Harvest Championship. $50,000 first prize.
And an extremely close and excellent final between Dave Askew and Phil Taylor. And it's Phil Taylor with his first Golden Harvest Cup title. Classic men's final at the Golden Harvest Cup, the full seven sets for Phil Taylor to defeat Dave Askew. And Dave, you almost pulled this one off against uh, the world's most dominant player. Just tell us about it. Well, uh, I rate Phil as the, the best player that I've ever known, uh, as, a, as a lot of people do. And going into the final, I was just hoping to do well. Uh, when I got the three sets all, I thought to myself, you know, I can win this. Uh, and that's when I went to pot, really. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but congratulations to Phil, he deserved to win, and uh, I hear he didn't lose a leg in the round robins, is that right Phil? I lost two legs. Oh he lost two legs? Two legs. He didn't on the first day, <laughs> no. I understand. Uh, so he's a worthy winner, and uh, I congratulate Phil. Phil, this has been an elusive title for you until now, you've got it, how does that feel? How does it feel? Absolutely fantastic. Anybody that... Um... <laughs> Thank you. Anybody that travels the globe like, like the professionals do and to come to Canada and win, win this, it's, um, it's, 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 the, well, it's one of the biggest tournaments that we play and I said it before and it's, uh, it's one everybody wants to win. Um, there's a lot of professionals here, there's people from all over the world, um, not just in the men's and the ladies as well, so to, to win this tournament, is, uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. This is as good as any, any t title I've ever won and I've won many, many, many titles, but this is fantastic. Is it safe to say... <laughs> safe to say that you, you have to bring your best darts here to win? Uh, yes, definitely. You've got to play... It, it's, it's, it's a long format. It's very hard um, physically, especially for me, because it's over two days. Uh, I'm round robbing. It's a lot of games. So uh, what I tried to do was just try to win as quick as what I, what I could. And I'd, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I didn't drop a leg the first day. And uh, I dropped two legs the next day, which gave me a, a good advantage on the third day because you know, number one plays number tw 128. As it happens, the number 128 played the uh, best dos over the last two days. He played absolutely superb. Phil, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Phil Taylor, the champion of the Golden Harvest Cup for the first time. Yeah, good, good.